When considering our process, let's take reflow as an example, may have two, three, four or more defined specifications. Each specification may have several thermocouples or data points. Very quickly, we can be overwhelmed with data. Add lead free into the equation, and it's easy to get frustrated trying to make sense of the data you collect with a profile. Wouldn't it be useful to have an easier way to interpret this data? This is where the Process Window Index, or PWI, comes in handy. Let's take a look at just one variable, in this case, peak, to explain how PWI works. You as the process engineer have defined peak in this example as 245C as the maximum allowed limit for your process and 235C as the minimum allowed limit. This is your process window. 240C is the center. In PWI terms, we index these values. 245C becomes 100%. 235C becomes minus 100%. And the center of your process window becomes 0% PWI. So you can see the lower the PWI number, the closer you are to the center of your process window. PWI is very powerful in that it reports two dimensions. It tells you first, am I in specification or not? Secondly, it tells you how deep or to the center of your specification is your process. Let's not forget that being simply in specification is not good enough. After all, expressed in PWI terms, if you are 99%, easily your production at times could be well out of specification due to the natural variability of your process. Don't forget a profile is only a snapshot of your process at the time you ran the profile. If you are not continuously monitoring your process, you better be sure you are as close to center of your process to accommodate this variability. Now, of course, PWI does not just look at peak. You are looking at any number of user-defined variables, slope, soak, peak, and reflow in this example. Here's an example of a robust profile, 81% PWI, gives your process plenty of room without any of your production running out of specification. 99% PWI, technically in spec, but certainly not robust. Very easily your process could drift you out of specification. Your peak? Well, ouch! You get the idea. Reflow time too long, 134% PWI. Need I say more? Your oven has crashed. Perhaps the e-stop was hit. More common than you like to think. Lastly, PWI is not an average. Rather, it is calculated from the worst or highest PWI value. Think about it. If your slope, soak, and reflow are perfect, let's say at the center of your specification or 0% PWI, if your peak is 350% PWI, your process is 350% PWI. Your process is only as good as the weakest variable. Like a chain, is only as strong as the weakest link. To learn more about PWI, you can find it on Wikipedia.